welcome to my channel. I'm doing an Etsy haul today. And it's not a medium sized haul, I'd say. That's six items and it's all of this. Okay, I hope you <laughs> Anyways, getting on with the haul. First thing that I guess I'm gonna open is this envelope. So the seller was Cyrelic. They left a little tag in there, I guess. So this is basically a uh, titanium ring. And I thought of getting a titanium ring because I need, I wanted a black ring specifically. And I thought, okay, black metal sounds kind of cool. You've got your silver, you've got your rose gold, you've got your gold, but then black, that's sexy. Okay, I can open this. It's so well packaged. It's a little light for metal, but I mean, it's a teeny ring, right? So I'm just gonna wear it. I love it. I love it. I'm sorry, I'm not to say anything else. I'm gonna be very honest about my reviews because I feel like in an effort to be nice, a lot of YouTubers uh, give mostly positive reviews or they only highlight the good things, but if I don't like it, I... Did I mention that I'm not really fond of LA anymore? All I hear is traffic and traffic and motorcycles and random cars in the middle of the night and freaking copters oh my god it's like and every time i call lapd the copter service they're like oh yeah we're pursuing a suspect in the car and i'm like mm, no you're not you're just like hovering over my home there is no suspect or car in my home Anywho, i love this i really do it's so simple and it's so different it's like look i'm just and also I'm a ring addict, so it's pretty. Moving on to the next one. Okay, and here's something about Etsy that I end up doing because I don't want international charges, so I always find out whether or not they are um, out of the United States. And if they are, I will always charge it to my travel uh, rewards card. What happens, and this doesn't happen always, so it's not like you can predict it, but if you are paying money to a bank outside of the United States, it ends up charging you a transaction fee. Even if it's PayPal, it will charge you like, I wanna say like 10% of the entire thing. And that can get expensive. So I prefer using my uh, travel card for my my international Etsy shopping. And this one was from Australia. So this is uh, from a brand called Sansar. Okay, I call it Sansar because I'm Indian and I know it's not supposed to be Sansara. But yeah, this is their little paper. It says thank you on the back. Uh, it's a rainbow moonstone earring and moonstone is associated with the inner goddess, a symbol of fertility and sensuality. The life giving feminine figure is an empowering visualization that gives us the gift of increased intuition, perfect for cleansing the mind of negative emotions that are holding you back. You know what, we could all use more of that. And then they have that cute little box. It's so cute. I love it. By the end of this video, I'm gonna have like all my jewelry on and I'll be like, hey, check it out. Okay, so these are the Moonstone earrings. They're cute, right? And this end is actually supposed to loop back. So it looks like this. Let me just quickly move my wig aside so you can see part of my bald head. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Moonstone isn't as like, uh, what do you call it? You know that fluorescent shine that it gives when like the light hits off of it? Wait, hold on, this is Yeah, that fluorescent shine isn't very prominent, but it is a very cute and well-crafted piece. I will give it that. Very simple, very dainty. Uh, it's my fake hair, but it's cute. See? Oh wow! So cute. And this was expensive. Okay, this is really pricey. Like I opened it and I was like, oh, but it was expensive. But it's cute. Cute and well crafted, like I had said. This is nice. On to the next. This one I'm so excited about. This one is by Scylla Handmade Jewelry and Leather Goods. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, this is a cute box. So what this is, is a Labradorite and Moonstone, what is this, a Labradorite and Moonstone bracelet? Oh, look at that, fire though. Is that the right word? I don't know, I'm messing up. I took a GIA course on jewelry, on colored stones specifically, so I should know, but 
I forget. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, look at that. It looks so pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. Like, imagine wearing this. It would stand out. <laughs> I love it so much. Yes, okay, this was worth it. This was completely worth it. Okay guys, on to the next. So next I'm going to open, okay, I'm gonna open uh, these turquoise earrings that I got. And let me just say, I got this from a seller who was so, so good at customer service. I immediately messaged her that, you know, I actually wanted something that wasn't on one of her screenshots on the, the website descriptions. She immediately replied. She's like, okay, listen, I've got these. Would you like any of them? And I was like, yeah, okay. And she made like a custom order for me and I immediately bought it. So good job, good job. You know, I like customer service. Like I will buy again from people like that. This one, okay, look how cutely it is packed. Oh, sorry. It's Bijou Limon. Am I pronouncing that right? Is it French? This is so proper. It's by Christina Nelson. And this is the adorable packaging. So check these babies out. Aren't they gorgeous? Like I just wanted some raw earrings on um, a gold background and I got them. Oh, look at that. It may have finally focused. Oh my God, look, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I like it, it's pretty. Okay, I highly recommend it. It's it's just gorgeous. It's very simple, very natural, very raw, very colorful. Like I would recommend this for a lot of outfits. And this is stud. I feel like studs are very carefree because you can do whatever you want with your hairstyle and your clothes and they just stay there. So the next one, this one I kind of already ripped out of the package because the package had my name and address all over it, but these are citrine earrings and I've wanted these for a long, long time because I have a necklace, a citrine necklace that I needed to go with. So let's open this baby up. This is from a, a seller in Jaipur and I've actually noticed a lot of jewelry artisans in Jaipur. And I've got to say, they're all pretty good. I've ordered from a couple of them and it's no surprise because I've been, in, I've been to Jaipur like once in my life and it's, the place is full of art and architecture. So it doesn't surprise me that their tours are incredible. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. It's a little bit browner almost in person, but it's probably the lighting. Kind of almost goes with my top. They put it really nicely in the little stud. Like look at that little design right there. Love it. Check that out. This is gorgeous, look at this. It is so simple and so elegant. Doesn't it like, it just goes, it just goes with my skin tone and my, hell, even if you weren't my skin tone, it would go really well. It looks really nice. I highly recommend it. And the last one is this wonderful box right here. And this came from Alaska. I'm really excited. I don't know why. I like getting packages from all over the world. Look how cute it is. I already kind of had to rip it open because the, uh, my address was on it, but look, it says Aloha. This is fragile and it says like, what does it say? I'll handle with Aloha. How cute is this? How cute is that? It's from Hanalani Jewelry. Look at how it's packaged. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous, like, this seller went like really above and over. Look, it has a little confetti inside. And this is the box that it comes in. Oh my God. This is gorgeous. This is just so gorgeous. Can we just appreciate this? Like, I think I got two rings and like one ring measurement, but look at all this. Look at the packaging. Like, it has a little thank you note. And it says, thank you. It's so cute. Thank you for choosing my shop. I picked a plain ring with your order. I hope you would love them. Stay safe always, Marie. This is so sweet. I don't think this was a very expensive order either. Okay, so I actually got one of these. What this is, it's a ring measurement and uh, I like rings. I like rings a lot and I like rings for different fingers. So I always like measuring it before I order something. And let's try this, let's try this. And this just makes it easier for me. My right index finger is like five and a half. Yeah. 
How cool is this? This little tool right here. And then there's a thank you so much. Aww. Like it doesn't even matter what it is. It's just the thought that goes into it. Like, you know what? Let me throw in a tea bag and a little chupa lupa. Is that what it is? Chupa chups. Chupa chups. Aww. Let me open this up. It's a wild raspberry hibiscus. It's orange flavor, she knows me. I don't know how she knows me, but she knows me. Okay, so again, packaging, holy shit. And then to the rings that I, oh look, it even has little, it has little care tips. So this is the actual jewelry I ordered. It shows my size, a uh, yellow gold filled. And that's the thing that I love about this. It wasn't an expensive order, but she gives uh, gold filled stuff. I always prefer gold filled stuff um, compared to plated stuff. I mean, plated stuff, if it's not good quality, it wears off. It has absolutely no resale value. How cute is this? How cute is that? And only one of, okay, so I think I ordered this ring and it's just a plain uh, band, but she threw in this too. Like, how sweet is that? Check this out. My earrings. I feel a little fancy. So that's it for today. Now, just a reminder, none of this was sponsored. I bought it all for my own money. And any coupon codes that I ended up finding in this little stash, I will leave it down below, as with the links that you need to buy this jewelry in case you wanna buy all this amazing stuff. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.